Nobody knows where the fog came from. Some say it's punishment for our sins and secrets. All I know is that the sun shines over the horizon, and I'm going to take us there. Hello, friends. Sentinel H here, and welcome back to Lifting the Fog. In this episode, we're going to be going over the factions present in the game. Factions are very important. Every passenger on your train will belong to one of the factions. And the factions have a strong influence on both those individuals, what they dream of, and the politics of your train. It's important that you manage factions, otherwise you may find yourself with a revolt or a purge on your hands. The factions are based on how these people perceive the fog. You can find information about the factions in the carriage console manual. Some of the people believe that the fog is a natural occurrence. Some believe it's a supernatural occurrence. Some see it as an opportunity, and some see it as a punishment from God. Or whatever the cause is. Everyone is a mixture of two of these, and their position on the wheel tells you where they are at. If we look at our notebook, and we look at factions, we can see that, almost, that everyone in this particular carriage belongs to one faction, the Lord's Defiance. They believe that the fog is a supernatural occurrence, but that it's an opportunity for them to redeem themselves. Therefore, they're basically a pretty religious group bunch, I would imagine. It's important to keep in mind what factions are in which carriages. The leader of the carriage determines which faction that carriage belongs to, whether or not everyone on the carriage is a member of that faction. If we move to carriage 2, once again we can see that everyone is in the same faction. However, some people, like A. Powell, aren't all that strong in that faction. People's faction alliances can change, and this is dependent on which carriage they're in. If I was to take Mr. Powell and place him in the first carriage, over time it's very possible that his align allegiance will change, and he'll join the Lord's Defiance. Each of the factions have various faction bonuses that they bring to the carriage where they're a part that they're in charge of. Why am I moving? It's still in the same book. You can find this information in the carriage console manual under factions tab. The faction in the upper right corner, which is the faction that our second carriage is currently under, it's called the uh, the Eye of the Fog, I believe. The Eyes to the Mist. That was close. They ha They provide a bonus to medical treatment and train upgrades, but they're concerned with technology. This means that they want us to upgrade our train at a fairly regular basis, and they'll become uh, unhappy if we aren't upgrading our train. <coughs> the Lord's Defiance faction is this third one here, Supernatural Opportunity. They provide a bonus to treating wounds and searching locations and their concern is having a lot of passengers they'll become unhappy if you haven't been adding passengers to your train and they'll also not like it if we start losing passengers the natural and punishment faction I'm not sure of their name provides a bonus to repairing the train and building defenses and their concern is over defenses so it's good the thing that they are good at building is also the thing that they're most concerned with. Carriages which belong to this faction will become unhappy if you don't build defenses there. Finally, the Supernatural Punishment faction, which appears in the lower left quarter, provides bonuses to guarding and negotiation. Guarding is a mission skill. And negotiation determines how resources are divided. 
We'll talk about negotiation more in depth in our episode about scavenging missions. And they're concerned with cohesion. This means that this particular faction doesn't like it when there are a lot of people in their carriage belonging to multiple factions. This is why it's important to note who in the carriage has becomes the, fa the leader. This is determined partially by negotiation skill. This particular individual, Andrew Powell, was added to the f carriage later on. Sarah Johnson became the leader because at the time that the carriage was first occupied, she had the highest negotiation skill. Whether or not everybody in the carriage is in that faction, the faction the carriage belongs to is determined by the faction, the group, the carriage leader. Therefore, if the carriage leader desires cohesion, they will become unhappy if you have people from other factions in their carriage. Currently, we don't have any worries about cohesion or technology levels or passenger amounts because we've fulfilled those. Because people's factions can be altered, placing somebody who is right on the line into a carriage that is all one faction will eventually move them into that look, uh, faction. This can be extremely useful if you wish to have more people on your train a member of a certain faction. Remember that the different factions will also tend to dream about different things. So if you wish to adjust and sort of modify which dreams are taking place in your train, keeping an eye on factions is a very useful thing to do. In addition to the factions which can uh, occur inside of your um, train, there are also two additional factions who operate outside of your train. The military and the fearless. I consider them factions. The military wants to blow you up. Avoid them like the plague. And the fearless make things difficult. If they're at a location that you're attempting to scavenge, they will try and kill your people. And just being at the same location as your train will lower the defenses of your train during a fog attack. They don't directly attack the train, but you'll want to keep an eye on where they are. Those are all the factions that you'll want to be aware of when playing the game. Keeping the various factions happy will be an important micromanagement step to keeping your people happy. And remember, happy people don't murder you in your sleep. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Lifting the Fog. Stay tuned for future episodes as we continue to demystify aspects of this very intriguing game. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.